So to get started, I'm going to open up Procreate and create a new canvas. Um, when you open up the app, you'll notice that um, you have a gallery here with all of your drawings or all of my drawings. Up in the top right corner, you'll see a plus sign. That's where you can create a new canvas. So if you tap on that, you'll see a number of different options um, based on the aspect ratio and a particular frame size that you would like. I'm actually just going to go with um, a square format, the one that comes preloaded here. So it's 2048 pixels by 2048. You'll notice that once you do that, you, t you tap on it and it opens up a new canvas. At the top of the screen here, you'll see this kind of um, control bar. Um, the wrench here will give you a lot of the settings about um, your canvas. Um, here you can edit and incorporate a perspective guide. Um, important thing here is under this kind of camera icon you'll see are the video settings. So um, I have this selected as on. So time lapse recording on. So I, I do want to be recording my time lapse the entire time. I could also live broadcast or replay it immediately from inside, but that's an important setting to have. Um, you can also adjust the preferences if you're left-handed or if you're right-handed. Um, I'm pretty much happy with a lot of the, the built-in preferences, um, but you can play around with that if you don't if you don't like the way things look. And here's your layers panel. This will become really, really important for um, your sketch process and your color process. So you add more layers by adding with this plus sign um, and you can rename them and you can access your layer styles. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about that later on. So my goal for this project today is to export a time lapse to make a kind of really fun, beautiful video at the end. So I'm being a little bit mindful of the steps in which I do things so that it'll be really fun for a viewer to watch at the end. To start off, I'm going to work on an initial sketch where I'm just going to work out my ideas. Not a lot of this will make it into the final piece. I'm just going to make a lot of mistakes and figure out where things are falling on the canvas. Once I've figured out exactly what I want, I'm going to take that and um, bring it into a new canvas where I'll work on the color, the texture, and the lighting and really bring it to life. So to get started, I'm going to work on, I already have a layer one, but if you wanted to create a new layer, you would just add one. So I'm going to start sketching. I like to use under, under pencils or under sketching, you'll find all these pencil tools. I really like to use the technical pencil, but you'll find there are softer ones, the HB and the 6B, you kind of get really loose lines. but. I think the technical pencil works really well for me. I always, um, the canvas is a, like a smart canvas, so I, I always like to tilt it to the side to get started. 